All right, this is the PSA lower um, with a hardened arms upper 16 inch carbine gas system with Crossfire 2 Vortex with a burst pepper mount. Um, the gun's never been fired. We're gonna give it a test run, make sure everything functions before we actually take it to the range and zero it in. All right, guys. Uh, working on my latest AR build. Actually, built this one a while back, probably about four or five months ago. Just actually got to go out and test fire it. Um, I was having an issue, and I will show you right quick what was happening. Is when you rack the slide back, it would pick up the next round. And then the bolt carrier would stay out of battery just about, yay far, about a third of an inch. Um, about the, <clears throat> a little bit larger than the gap uh, of the interior of the bolt face. So I took the bolt face out, excuse me, I took the bolt out. And this is a, uh, Um, hardened arms as you can see it is a hardened arms upper love their company they've been uh, doing me right so far but basically what we would have is when the round would go in to the chamber rather than being up underneath the extractor it would be on top of it like this when I checked got to diving into it uh, this is a uh, Brownells M16 uh, bolt carrier group tried it try to rock river arms and uh, finally come to find out what the problem is is actually the mating surface from the barrel to the receiver um, the barrels actually clocked a little bit and uh, I went put in some pictures right here to show you this And this one had me scratching my head because um, if you look at the picture, it's the the feed ramp on the right. So every other round, it would kind of feed. And if you was checking it one at a time, and it was always pulling from that one side. But this is what it was doing to the round. You can see it was just tearing the nose up, tearing the case up. It's causing all kind of problems. So, if you're like a lot of us and you're buying parts right now when they're cheap, especially if you're sticking them back for uh, future builds, check your parts. Um, 
I know uh, this is no way trying to bash the uh, the company because we all know very respectable companies have issues every once in a while you have a lemon that gets through quality control but so I've already contacted Hardened Arms they're gonna send me a uh, return information so I can send this upper in I gotta go ahead and strip the scope and everything off of it um, cause that's what the plan I built the whole rifle um, bore sided it and finally got a chance to go take it out and uh, do a test fire on it and it wouldn't work you know from the very first round I was only successful in getting three rounds to fire out of this uh, upper <clears throat> because and those I would have to put them in one at a time and then drop the uh, bolt carrier group and then it would actually go around the head case of the, the head of the case and allow the rifle to fire but that's the whole reason why we build AR-15s. We don't want a single shot uh, bolt action AR-15. So I will keep you posted. This one is going back. Um, let you know what they do. And we'll go from there. Um, I, I would tr try and show you on the video. But my camera is not going to get in there where it needs to be. So we're going to go ahead and strip that one off. And get it ready to be shipped back. Alright, I'm gone.